So what's the competition like for the FM9? Well, it's funny you should be saying that Mercedes believe they've got an even stronger contender. And this is it, Axor. This is first time Mercedes-Benz have built a small cab vehicle and there's a lot riding on it. So, their hopes are pinned on this neat combination of an Atigo cab with Actros driveline and it's designed to complement the existing Actros Arctic range. The UK tractor market is dominated by fleets and what fleets are looking for is basic simplicity and practicality and that's what the Axor offers to uh, those customers. It utilises a combination of tried and tested components aimed at the UK short and medium distance operator. Well, the total market for tractor units in the UK is about 18,000, depends upon the year. And we would expect in the first year, remember it's not a first full year of availability, to sell about five or 600 units. What sort of customers is it aimed at? Obviously it's quite a niche market. Yeah, UK fleet customers, generally those customers that like smaller, simpler vehicles, smaller cabs, simpler vehicles. Um, the guys that run predominantly in the UK and don't go outside the UK for, um, for their deliveries. But Mercedes will have a tough job on their plate, taking away customers from FM, which is a firmly established and reputable range. Volvo's FM9 features two engines, from 260 horsepower to 420 horsepower, with torque from 1500 Nm to 2800 Nm at 1200 RPM. The Mercedes Axor has one engine, but with three power ratings at 354 horsepower. 401 horsepower and 428, with torque from 1858 newton meters to 2100 newton meters at 1100 rpm. As you can see in this direct comparison, they're evenly matched.